no matter what vision no matter what dream I don't care what encounter you have if you cannot find the written word that gives you the basis of confidence you are standing on shadows no matter how accurate your vision is the Bible calls scripture a more sure word of prophecy that means the ranking of prophetic words are in levels not every prophetic word carries the same weight in the spirit there is a basis for trying prophecy and some prophetic words are weaker than others they carry the weakness of the vessels that communicate them but because scripture has been tried seven times it sustains the power to run your life run your life I'm a man given to many encounters by the grace of God but I have learned the the deception of building my life around visions prophetic words I don't despise prophesying but my life is solidly built upon the Word of God anything I have not found scripture for I have not found the trigger for action no matter how long I will stay I rather be delayed trusting God than to take action in obscurity not being sure if I ask you why are you doing ministry today and you say I was standing in a vision oh you missed it already tell me the vision after you show me the scripture did you get that now apostle I'm going to put a great healing meeting what makes you believe the meeting will succeed I've been experiencing an unusual dimension of God's anointing no sir you will be disappointed even if your hand is shaking on that crusade ground one person will not rise from the wheelchair because the shaking of hands and bodily manifestations of the spirit they are real but they have not been accredited to be the way that power of God flows it is his word it is his word but when he speaks woe betides whatever stands to fight the word of God in a man's life who is learning tonight for some of us God is telling you the reason why this year is still looking like last year is because you have not respected God's word yet you have respected men of God you have respected Apostle Joshua Selman you've respected the prophetic word I gave you but you've not respected the supremacy of God's word you've even respected anointing and I'm not against that is my first assignment the believer is not just one who is saved the believer is one among many other indices is one who has chosen as an act of your will to submit to the supremacy of God's word to govern your life in any and all matters this is what makes you a believer with all due respect again I don't know why God is leading me dear servants of the Lord co-laborers I beseech you by the mercies of God that we focus our build-up strategy for God's people to the ministry of the word don't be under pressure to show visions and charismatic manifestations they are wonderful but if all you can do is the simplicity of the teaching ministry feel confident there is a pressure on men of God once there's no manifestation no power no prophetic word you look less of a man of God and most people are deviated from the simplicity of the teaching ministry number two don't be under pressure to teach new things just make sure what you teach is fresh we are mandated to communicate freshness the curriculum for the building of the believer is like the curriculum that turns a medical student it's a, a young boy to a medical student a professor who has been teaching in the university for 30 years has largely been teaching the same thing with new experiences added occasionally but with freshness the ability to have taught it again and again is where mastery comes from the way you drove yesterday is how you will drive tomorrow even if the location is different the techniques the mechanics is the same when we call you a professional we mean you have repeated the same thing so well you have gained mastery are we learning the pressure to always try to say something new or the pressure to always you know we, we try to call it backing up your ministry it's not your assignment you build the people if you build them authentically there will always be a witness to what you are doing 
but beyond the power of God the focus must be on the Word of God what has God said what has God said apostle why do you think your life is going to be great is because I am prayerful I respect what you are saying but give me a chance to listen to the content of your prayer if the content of your prayer is not word compliant you have been praying amiss even though energetically so what gives power to your prayer is not the volume the energy nor even the timing it is the word compliancy the degree to which the word of God is invested in your prayer is what brings power to it are we together now you're a businessman what gives you the basis of doing business well is because I read business administration unfortunately the Bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but that he gives his beloved sleep if you tell me the basis of my excelling is that I have found in scripture are we together now that the Lord can give men power to prosper that there is a spirit in man and that the breath of the Almighty is able to make men of understanding now you are talking God's language his power can be sure to be there feeling or no feeling the basis is because you have called forth the word that becomes the basis of the power who is understanding me so far next time you stand before a sick body don't just be power conscious the power will flow it is true it will flow the sick will be healed but the basis for it is God said my assignment as a man of God is to be a midwife to draw forth what God has said and administer what he has said and trust the power of God to back what he has said that I am in obedience to why do you believe that the Peniel Conference 2024 is going to be a great experience. Ah, because there are mighty men of God coming. Apostle Joshua Selman is coming. You may be sincere, but you are wrong. The reason is because the Bible says, number one, the path of the just is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. Number two, because God always works with men. When you mention that scripture, now you can mention our names by grace and you are right but not outside of scripture i'm doing something there is a spiritual engineering that god is doing to your mind tonight bringing you to a point where you respect the supremacy of the word do not cheapen the word it is most superior it builds all things all things came from it all things that includes your destiny includes your tomorrow will come from the word of god hallelujah when God gave us the mandate to go to the nations, I said, Lord, I believe you. You don't go to social media and check how many people follow you, how many people like you. No, that will bring you to disappointment. You go to God's word. You have given a mandate. Lord, your power follows your word. What have you said concerning this? And then he tells you, go to the ends of the earth. You shall be witnesses unto me, Jerusalem, Judea Samaria I hold on to that word you have given me a mandate your promise but I bring before you the oath that by the promise and the oath it is impossible for God to lie now that you have given me the marching order as frail as I am let's go and the Bible says and the Lord walking with them confirming the word not confirming their intention confirming the word if there is no word there is nothing to confirm with signs following i'm showing you a secret that can make an ordinary person look like a sign and a wonder men will look at you and size you and you don't add up because what really produces the the power and the miracles is not your personality it is the word that you have built your life around if you were to see Jesus, you would be disappointed in the flesh. He would not look like a savior, but he was the savior. Because his name is not the power of God. His name is the word, the logos of God. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Kindly subscribe, like, and share this message with others. Remember to follow us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook on instagram on tiktok on youtube all at believers global tv remain blessed and keep the love of god in your heart and spread it to one another
see you in our next video god bless you tremendously